We finally got the mega wheelies we've been wanting. But as y'all saw, I sent her a little bit too hard. <laughs> Had to lay her down. So now we have to do repairs and some safety upgrades before we can get back to doing mega wheelies. This front tire hit the ground pretty hard and now we have some healthy camber. I thought at first it was this ball joint, but it's definitely this bracket down here. It's bent a little bit forward and up. So we'll definitely have to strengthen this. We have nice clearance right here between our wheel and our spindle. We basically just match it to the other side so we have a little bit of positive camber. Well, we thought we could get away with these short wheelie bars with no springs, but as we found out, and thanks to some of your comments, we now know we definitely need to lengthen these and add some spring to them. So what we're gonna do is use these laser cut brackets that we conveniently have from a future project that you'll be seeing more of soon. And we're gonna use these to lengthen our wheelie bar and add a little bit of softness to it with these two 60 pound Home Depot springs. Two springs for each wheelie bar should give it a nice little cushion as it comes down and prevent it from kind of tipping back onto the wheelie bar. Yeah, we don't want it to lift the wheels when we're wheeling. Right. Because that could cause it to fly in. Yeah, go whatever direction it wants. And at that point, it's a rogue death machine. <laughs> Here we go guys, wheelie bar V2. Looks pretty good for being made out of just some scrap brackets. But yeah, this is probably about 40 pounds. So this will definitely cushion our wheelies. I mean, yeah. I feel that. Once we add our stops in. Oh yeah, we definitely do. Is it just hitting the ground or something? Yeah, it's just hitting the oh. ground. We did a lot of work off camera with our tubing bender, bending up some side crash protection bars. We then notched them on our road fast tubing notcher, which makes welding them to our roll cage pretty easy. We got our Hobart all set up, and now it's time to weld. Definitely want to check that I can still get in and out of this thing relatively easy. So we're gonna be kind of NASCAR style. It's not easy, but I mean that's that will protect my knee, hundred percent. I like it. It's not easy. During our crash, we bent our front left wheel, so we got a new one. We decided to go with slick, so we have a little bit more grip up front, and it'll understeer less. But it is a bit smaller, so this will give us an even more. Exaggerated look. Yeah. I dig the look though. I mean, it does look more like a drag car, you know. We welded some square bar in the back to make some wheelie stops. So now, you're going up, doing your wheelie. You hit the springs there. That reduces a lot of the wheelie force, and boom. Now yeah. we're stopped. And there's plenty of room for the carb. Yeah, definitely. And then you keep, if you keep going, it starts compressing your suspension. So we shouldn't be lifting our rear tires off the ground. All the mods are complete, so this thing is pretty much finished. And now it's time for more wheelies. We got our side crash bars painted up to match, and we added some pipe insulation to protect the knees. We have our polycarbonate floorboard. Maybe it'll let us see where we're going. We don't know yet. And then for the final touch, we have the beware of wheelie sign. This is a throwback to our first wheelie cart we built. actually on the Velocity channel on TV for some reason, but we're gonna throw this on the bottom so that when we're popping wheelies, people know you better watch out. Sweet. <laughs> Dude, this is a some crazy angle.
dude, that was perfect. thing is really fast we have some unexpected issues with it wheeling we tried different things with the drivetrain and the engine we think it's just the engine but uh, it does not want to wheelie anymore all right so here is yeah here's the results so first one 43 second run yep 43 and this third one I was trying to go faster so let's see if I actually did look like a 45 46, 46. nice i mean it that's honestly it looks like it's going way faster than 46 it, it feels like it. it's going yeah it probably that in this size it's so yeah. small it looks like it's and going a million it. miles an hour but um i mean one thing as y'all probably could see the sparks our brake bracket bent so it's something scraping and making sparks everywhere so we really don't have good brakes so i have yeah. to get on the brakes it's, way earlier it's self clearancing right now yeah it's it's working itself in but yeah i mean we're pretty happy with how this thing turned out it did kind of stop wheeling near the end um y'all probably saw it doing the shorter hops we don't know why we tried changing drivetrain tensioning things and we tuned the carb nothing made a difference so they may or may not be another video on this thing if we can get it running really good and have a really fun video just action pack we will but that may not be the case but yeah, the Mini XRX platform is pretty sweet. I bet if you're, you know, a child and you aren't sticking your knee out of this thing, this thing's safe and fun. So definitely check that out at Go Power Sports. Thank y'all for watching. This was a really fun build. I'm glad y'all tuned in. See you next time.